We live in incredibly technologically advanced times. Everything you could think of is a quick Google search away. While most of our technology has been developed since the Industrial Revolution in the 18th and 19th centuries, many products we use today have a much longer history. Many of today's cherished ideas, tools, and even foods can be traced back to the ancient world. Without these inventions and technologies, life as we know it today would not be possible. They've stood the test of time even as people's expectations and capabilities continue to evolve. Many inventions that are so common we no longer even consider them revolutionary have been around for hundreds or thousands of years. They are so old, it's hard to tell who came up with the idea or designed the product. Some of them are Paper The oldest known archaeological fragments of the immediate precursor to modern paper date to the 2nd century BCE in China. It has been said that knowledge of paper making was passed to the Islamic world after the Battle of Talus in 751 AD when two Chinese paper makers were captured as prisoners. By the 11th century, paper making was brought to Europe. By the 13th century, paper making was refined with paper mills utilizing water wheels in Spain. Later European improvements to the paper making process came in the 19th century with the invention of wood based papers. Although precursors such as papyrus existed in the Mediterranean world, this material is not defined as true paper. The compass. It was invented more than 2,000 years ago. The first compasses were made of lodestone, a naturally magnetized stone of iron in Han Dynasty China between 20 BC and 20 AD. The compass was later used for navigation during the Chinese Song Dynasty 960 to 1279 AD. Later compasses were made of iron needles magnetized by striking them with a lodestone. Magnetized needles and compasses were first described in medieval Europe by the English theologian Alexander Neckham. 1157 to 1217 AD. Dry compasses began appearing around 1300 in medieval Europe and the medieval Islamic world. This was replaced in the early 20th century by the liquid-filled magnetic compass. Today, the magnetic compass is the most familiar compass type. It functions as a pointer to magnetic north, the local magnetic meridian because the magnetized needle at its heart aligns itself with the horizontal component of the Earth's magnetic field. Cartography Maps have been one of the most important human inventions for millennia. People have created and used maps to help them define, explain, and navigate their way through the world. The oldest known maps are preserved on Babylonian clay tablets from about 2300 BC. Cartography was considerably advanced in ancient Greece. The concept of a spherical earth was well known among Greek philosophers by the time of Aristotle and has been accepted by all geographers since. Many countries undertook national mapping programs. Nonetheless, much of the world was poorly known until the widespread use of aerial photography following World War I. In the 21st century, with the advent of the computing age and information age, maps can now be digitized in numerical form, transmitted and updated easily via satellite GPS and apps like Google Maps, and used universally more easily than ever before. Chocolate The history of chocolate began in southern Mexico. Fermented beverages made from chocolate date back to 450 BC. The Aztecs believed that cacao seeds were the gift of the god of wisdom, and the seeds once had so much value that they were used as a form of currency. After its arrival to Europe in the 16th century, sugar was added to it and it became popular throughout society, first among the ruling classes and then among the common people. In the 20th century, chocolate was considered essential in the rations of United States soldiers during the war. At the same time, the price of chocolate began to drop dramatically in the 1890s and 1900s as the production of chocolate began to shift away from the New World to Asia and Africa. Therefore, chocolate could be purchased by the middle class. Today, roughly two-thirds of the world's cocoa is produced in Western Africa, with the Ivory Coast being the largest source, producing a total crop of 1,500,000 tons. Concrete Every building around us is built with at least some concrete. The important material dates back to 65,000 BC in what is today Syria and Jordan. This is where the earliest concrete structures were recorded. Nabatea traders built concrete floors, houses, as well as underground tanks. The ancient Romans were the first to utilize this material widespread. By 200 BC, the Romans successfully implemented the use of concrete in the majority of their construction. It enabled revolutionary new designs in terms of both structural complexity and dimension. The Colosseum in Rome was built largely of concrete, and the concrete dome of the Pantheon is the world's largest unreinforced concrete dome. Alcohol The oldest verifiable brewery has been found in a prehistoric burial site in a cave in Israel. Researchers have found residue of a 13,000-year-old beer that they think might have been used for ritual feasts to honor the dead. Around 1500 BC, the Roman god Dionysus began to appear in the literature. Dionysus, or Bacchus in the Greek mythology, was the god of the grape harvest and winemaking. Both the Greeks and the Romans generally drank diluted wine. Indoor Plumbing 
Remains of toilets and sewers dating back to 2800 BC have been found in modern-day Pakistan. The bathrooms at the time drained through pipes in the walls to a municipal drainage system. The Roman Empire developed complex ancient plumbing systems along with aqueducts, underground sewers, public baths, bronze and lead piping systems, and even marble fixtures. Around 52 AD, Rome boasted an estimated 220 miles of aqueducts, pipes, and water channels used to supply baths, homes, and public wells. In 1596 AD, Sir John Harrington designed the first flushing toilet used in Richmond Palace. As cities grew in the 19th century, increasing concerns were raised about public health. As part of a trend of municipal sanitation programs in the late 19th and 20th centuries, many cities constructed extensive sewer systems to help control outbreaks of diseases such as typhoid and cholera. Calendars Throughout recorded history, Persians have been keen on the idea and importance of having a calendar. They were among the first cultures to use a solar calendar and have long favored a solar over lunar and lunisolar approaches. Old Persian inscriptions and tablets indicate that early Iranians used a 360-day calendar based on the solar observation directly and modified for their beliefs. The Greeks, as early as the time of Homer, appear to have been familiar with the division of the year into the 12 lunar months. The Julian calendar, proposed by Julius Caesar in 46 BC, was a reform of the Roman calendar. The calendar was the predominant calendar in the Roman world, most of Europe, and in European settlements in the Americas and elsewhere until it was gradually replaced by the Gregorian calendar, promulgated in 1582 by Pope Gregory XIII. The Julian calendar is still used in parts of the Eastern Orthodox Church. Olympics The ancient Olympic Games were primarily a part of a religious festival in honor of Zeus, the father of the Greek gods and goddesses. The festival and games were held in Olympia. Although the ancient games were staged in Olympia, Greece, from 776 BC through 393 AD, it took 1,503 years for the Olympics to return. The first modern Olympics were held in Athens, Greece in 1896. The man responsible for its rebirth was a Frenchman named Baron Pierre. The idea of the Olympic torch or Olympic flame was first inaugurated in the 1928 Olympic Games in Amsterdam. There were known, however, torch relays in other ancient Greek athletic festivals including those held at Athens. The modern Olympic torch relay was first instituted at the 1936 Olympic Games in Berlin. Democracy A democracy is a political system or a system of decision-making within an institution, organization, or a country in which all members have an equal share of power. Athenian democracy took the form of direct democracy and it had two distinguishing features. The random selection of ordinary citizens to fill the few existing government administrative and judicial offices and a legislative assembly consisting of all Athenian citizens. All eligible citizens were allowed to speak and vote in the assembly, which set the laws of the city-state. Even though the Roman Republic contributed significantly to many aspects of democracy, only a minority of Romans were citizens with votes in elections for representatives. The ancient civilizations bestowed the world with many inventions that have stood the test of time, even as people's expectations and capabilities continued to evolve. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to find out more interesting topics, and as always, thanks for watching.